Welcome. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you an important message by Wietze and also add some remarks afterwards. So let's start here. We're getting a lot of questions, remarks and complaints even from people who lost funds by buying scam tokens, crappy tokens newly issued on the XRPL. I know most people don't read the warnings, so here's a video message. Adding a trust line can be perfectly safe. You know what isn't safe? You know what's going to make you lose your savings? Trading scam coins. All right. Okay. So two perfect points. So like I said, many people ask me also if it, is it safe adding a trust line? Yes, definitely. So there are no risks affiliated with if you set a trust line. But like I said, as, as soon as you trade it, then you're having the risk of, uh, well, then your risk, then, then the other thing you the token you're buying has, uh, well, the risk of losing in value, obviously. And if it's a scam project or a project which is just rug pulling or selling huge amounts without, I don't know, working on advancing the ecosystem or if there are no, no new people coming in into the system, then obviously the value will lose token. Uh, the, va the token will lose, va lose value. These new issue tokens on the XRPL work absolutely nothing. I can create a token like that in a couple of seconds. So here we can see right now that Wheats is issuing a crap, uh, well, one, uh, a crap token. We will do that afterwards. And yeah, let's go on. Why would you buy them? Why would you trade them? You're going to lose your funds. Don't do it. Don't trade. Don't buy a scam token. Is someone offering you a token on a Telegram group, Discord group, or on Twitter? It's probably a scam. Don't trade those tokens. Don't buy them. Here's a worthless piece of shit I just drew in one second. Would you buy this for real money, for real XRP? No, you wouldn't. So why would you on the ledger? The vetted list with tokens is available in some if you press the add button in your home screen. There are many more tokens, some of them trustworthy, but please do your own research. Only the vetted tokens with teams we can trust, teams with a track record, teams we vetted are in the list if you tap the add button on the some home screen. Getting offers for adding trust lines elsewhere? Do extra research, be extra careful. Most of them are scams. Arwen, would you buy a crap token? No. So, still in doubt if you should buy this shit token? Go to www.shouldibuythisshittoken.com to find out the answer. Stay safe. All right, so he mentioned, so first of all, there is a website. Uh, so should I buy the shit token at com? So the answer here is no. Should not buy the shit token if you want to know the answer here. Um, what is also what I'm also gonna mention is um, if we have a quick look at sum. If you add a token in sum, then you can see here um, that if you go to add, there are only certain tokens are showing up here in sum. So Vitz was mentioning these as valid tokens. So all of the all of the issuers had to do certain procedures in order to be listed here. So there are a few more which were the added though. Um, but you can, generally speaking, uh, they, these are more trustworthy because you know at least the counterparty. But there are many tokens out there where you don't even know who issued those. Um, so that was, so it, it's more safe adding those, but you still do your own research. If they're not listed in here, you always have to look for a white paper, or at least there's the water tokens for. If it's a fun token, a meme token, then you should r probably be more careful that, or other tokens. Well, always do your own research, understand the risks. And like I said, he mentioned setting a trust line is perfectly safe. Like I said, like, like we just mentioned. Um, well, trading a token is obviously affiliated with risks, uh, or, and the risk is that the token might lose in value, since the issuer is responsible for the distribution. So the issuer can issue as many as he wants to, and we'll do that here. So I prepared a simple, uh, some a simple code. I won't show you the code though. Uh, well, I'll think about what I will do with that. But if I run right now the code here, so run issue token, so you can see here right now I'm issuing a token. There's not lots of stuff being mentioned here. And uh, I will quickly have to stop. All right, so I decided to use a different abbreviation. So the token is going to be called CRP, so short for crap. So right now I'm issuing the token, as you can see here. So it's just doing, the code is doing whatever I told it before. And now we'll just wait a few seconds. And awesome. Damn it. Okay, my bad. One last time. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, yeah, it happens all the time. So I just uh, didn't fix the code correctly. So right again, I'm issuing my code, my token. So it's called CRP. 
And as you can see here that it just takes over 10 seconds. I can do this all, well, all, now, all night long, more or less. And now I just issued my CRP token. And if we have a quick look here, well, who would have guessed? So I'm just gonna open it now. But only for the one asset. Um, right, so I've got here my issuing account. So I've got here my issuing account. So that one here, that one issued now the CRP token. As you can see here, I issued 100 CRP token. And you can see the trust lines. And right now, this one is my main account and this one has 100 CRP token. And I could issue more as I please. And like I said, so only if it would black hole the, uh, the account, then it would be able to issue more of that one. Uh, but yeah, that's how easy it is. And you were already able to see that it's that easy to issue the token and all tokens on Exit Ledger can be traded on a DAX. So right now I could go to the DAX and set a limit sell order for my crap token. I won't do that, but I'm, I'm, I was wanted just to show you, like I said, like we uh, also showed you how easy it is to more or less write, write on a piece of paper, CRP. And if it doesn't do anything, then like I said, it's just a piece of paper not doing anything. And yeah, so like I said, it's just more or less a warning. Like I said, staying trust and some problem trading those. Be careful there. So it's no problem if or you on Twitter if you know the risks more or less. If you know what you're doing. If you know, okay, well, this token, uh, you it's e so obviously, like I said, do your own research. Be careful there. Maybe also find the team for the white paper. So uh, some community is working very hard on, and a lot on identifying all the issuers. If you have a quick look here at the XOPL token list, you can also see that here here's a section that you only can show the KOC issuer, so at least then there the possibility is a little bit lower than it's a rug pull. And yeah, so like I said, um I can only mention please be careful, be aware, and also look for white papers. And if it's like I said, if it's a fun project, don't don't put too much money in that. And like I said, be aware of the risks. So yeah. Right, so that's it for this video. So like I said, in ver a very important message just to be cautious and well, to understand like I said, the risks. I can't repeat it enough, but it has to, you have to know, like I said, how it works. And when somebody, like I said, like me right now, creates a token in like, just like 10 seconds, I could do that on a weekly basis. And yeah, anything else to mention there? Uh, like I said, it takes 10 seconds to issue that, so then it can issue as, ma as much as I want to. Also, uh, like I said, some community is doing a great job there. If you click on any token, uh, you can see if the supply is fixed or not, meaning that if the account is black holes or not. Uh, if the account is black hole, then at least it's a good sign, so the supply won't increase anymore. And also, the no trust tens can be frozen. Um, so if you just go on any token here, you can always see if the supply is fixed. So for example, this fi uh, so this token here, um, the supply is fixed. So the issuer is black holed. Uh, also, if, if the issuer is not black holed, then trust lines can be frozen. So the asset you you have issued, that one can be frozen, can't be taken from you. But yeah, like I said, the trust line can be frozen if the issuer didn't give up the no freeze ability. All right, so that's it for this video. Like I said, I hope you've learned something. I hope I was able to illustrate the concepts. I will link the tweet here. And yeah, see you in the next video.